Hello, nuclear enthusiasts, and welcome back. I am Leonidas, this is Nuclearis, and I gotta tell you, I'm excited. No, not about the game. I think I have finally figured out what the problem is with my sound. You should be hearing my nasally, uh, annoying voice with perfect clarity. Maybe you're turning down the volume right about now because you're used to all of my videos being quiet. Well, I think I have figured it out. But before we get into that, so this is version 2.2 patch 176, the highly anticipated patch that was released yesterday. Real life gets in the way, you have to go to work and you don't get to play as much as you want, but we're back and I'm gonna do a video today on how to get this thing up and running. I've seen a lot of questions, a lot of people struggling with it, and so I'm just gonna do a simple startup under this new reactor. Yes, I have a lot of startups under the 175 patch, but this is gonna be just a simple startup, 176. Hopefully people can watch this, get an idea of what would work, because a lot of people are struggling. So, without further ado, let's go. I am going to skip initial help and activate all controls for us to make this video a little bit shorter since I've already been rambling on. But regarding the sound. So what was happening was everything was going great. And then when I uploaded it to YouTube, YouTube was like, ah, oh, this guy is too loud. We got to turn him down. And they were cutting my volume to like 51%. But after some research, I think I finally figured out how to beat the YouTube. So here we are. Hopefully you are hearing me with perfectly annoyingly cl annoying clarity. Let's go. All right. We are going to start this reactor. Um, so a few things that we got to do first, as always. Uh, we are uh, Everything's already activated. If you need the steps of activating these, you want to start fresh, go look at another video. We're just going to go through this uh, somewhat quickly. So uh, I'm using my checklist as always. Pressurizer thermostat on. Pressurizer on, heat on. Operating mode. New operating mode established. Nominal. Before we Nominal do that, mode. we're going to verify that our control rods are inserted at 100. We are going to uh, verify that our resistor banks are on. We are going to set our uh, condenser vacuum on. We are going to verify that we are on external power supply and our generator is set to manual. Uh, we are going to load fuel. We are going to turn on our primary coolant pump, set to 1515. Wait for the, the reactor core coolant there it is. has started to circulate. We are going to set our condenser to five. I know this seems low. I know it's different from what the tutorial says. Go with it. Trust me. Let's turn it on. And then it should be a five. Our pump is still doing its thing. Okay, we are now going to wait for our pressure to rise to at or above 150 degrees Celsius. So I am going to cut away and come back once it hits there. Okay, welcome back. We are arriving at 150 and now is the time. We are going to remove rods. Uh, let's start with 95. This is a little bit of an experiment. This should start our reaction. We are not using chemicals. This is version 2.2 patch 176. Like I said, earlier versions will look a bit different. Later patches may also be a bit different. Uh, let's speed things up. 94 it is. To the moon. That's still not very fast. Uh, what we are watching for here is uh, temperature to rise above 100, which will then cause our pressure to rise. We are going to speed triple speed this up. Animation means we're above 50 degrees centigrade. The Celsius. reactor has reached critical mass and its status has changed to reactive. We're now above 100, which means our pressure will begin to rise. We are verifying our MSCV is at 100. No, zero. Darn it, missed that step. Verify our bypass is at zero. We're looking for 60, check our temperature. Rising steadily. I'm going to skip ahead till this gets close to 60. 
Okay, welcome back. Uh, you'll notice our, uh, we are reaching 60 on our PSI. I'm sorry, on our bar, our pressure. The only thing change I made was I removed our control rods out to 93 because 94 was just not fast enough. So I would start out at 93. Okay, we are ready. So we're going to go MSCV 25. Secondary pump on. Set slow for 25. We are going now going to watch. We should be getting pressure coming to our turbine soon. We're going to watch this pressure drop as it dumps all that steam it had been building up, sends it over to our turbine, and we should get spool up soon. There we go. We just heard the uh, animation. We heard the sound audio for it clicking on. Again, make sure your resistor bank is on. You will damage your generator if this is not on. Additionally, it takes a minute to kick in under the new auto mode, so there already is damage. I'll prove that by turning AO on and having him do his thing. You'll see that there is damage to the generator 3. The way around this is to switch this into manual mode. I have not done that yet. I have not tested that yet. Uh, so maybe a video idea for the future. I'm going to, again, cut away to make this even shorter. We'll come back when this is closer to that 3000 mark and we're gonna go for 3060. The temperature that we're going for on our reactor is 300. I'm over that, so I'm going to increase rods. Uh, 300 is where I like it. You put it where you want it. And we'll be back. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, one of the things that I forgot to do before we cut away is to request the startup from the city. Make sure you do it before 50, 10, 5, 0, or the, uh, otherwise it will not request it for the next hour. Um, before this continues, a couple notes. Oh, hitting escape does not pause it. Never mind. We'll just keep going. I thought it paused it. Okay. Alt, shift, raise, 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 raise. At the top when it turns green. One, two, three, four greens. Now close. A special note, do not close the circuit breaker until you have reached close to 3060. You do not need to use a synchroscope until it is above 3050, 5-0. You smashing this RPM raise button as it's spooling up is not going to do anything. This is a fine tuning for 10 units or less uh, when it comes to RPM. So make sure your resistors are on. Make sure you do not close the circuit breaker until you've gotten the okay from the city, the request and demand, and you're at the correct RPMs. Very important. I have not touched anything else. This is still set where it was originally. Um, that is not true. I did turn down the condenser because it was too cold. I turned it down to one. So I would set your initial condenser setting to one. We want this to get close to 100 but not go over. My rods are still at the 93.2, which is where I left it. They should be coming down slightly. Yep. And here we are. We are running and we are uh, fairly stable. I can let this, I'm gonna go triple speed. I'm gonna, and we can, this is it. You're up and you're running. Congratulations. Your reactor is reacting and doing stuff. Uh, obviously you can adjust your uh, output to your demand power generated. Um, if you want to see how to do that, you can do it. A, look at another video. But here you go. This is what it was. So I'm going to do a quick uh, recap of everything we did. We went through all of our steps. Oh, now that we're generating power, sorry, we'll turn external off. Generator automatic in case of a uh, loss of electricity. Um, when you're in the starting mode, the first hour they've given you, you will not earn experience points. So don't worry about it if you miss it. Um, so we got everything ready to go. We set our, uh, we loaded our fuel. We turned on our pressurizer. We made sure our, our control rods were inserted. We turned on our primary coolant system to 1515. We made sure our resistor banks were on. We made sure our MSCV, well, I kind of forgot, but MSCV set to zero. Uh, tur bypass set to zero. If you want to know what uh, things about this or why we do these things, check out another video. Condenser uh, speed, pump speed set to one is probably sufficient. Uh, we wait for everything to heat up. Um, I think we set our rods to just set it to 93. I think it's a good number. It'll speed up quickly. Once uh, pressure hits 60, 60, we open our MSCV to five. We turn on our secondary coolant pump set to 25 via the slow button. And then we watch and we wait, then we use the synchroscope and that's it. Right there. 
that, that you have a stable running reactor. Some people really seem to struggle with getting the temperature up to the right uh, temperature, the pressure up. I will let you know that as this is going, you're going to see this drop. It'll go below 40 while it's, while it's uh, spooling up. It's going to bounce up and down. This will go up and down. Don't worry about it. Let it go. Let it do its thing. I've been running triple speed this whole time. You've seen I haven't touched anything. It's working out great. Okay, we can do some fine uh, some fine tuning, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So here is your fast, your quick startup for the 176 patch 176 reactor. If you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure the volume. I I think I've got it fixed. I think I have outsmarted YouTube. Please come back and let me know um, in the comments. Uh, or send me a, uh, is there a way to send a direct message? I don't know, find me on Discord. Uh, I'm not here for the subscribes and the clicks and the likes. I just really like this game, want to share it with other people, but I need people to communicate with me, let them know, let me know what's working for them, what's not, any suggestions, things you want to see, um, so that we can all enjoy this game together. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon. I am Leonidas.